Hey, everybody in here. Just finished my coffee. It rained throughout the night last night and a little bit this morning. The baby chicks are doing fine. Uh, the rest of the ones that are left in there seem to be pretty hardy, so they're tolerating the temperature changes. But um, I've done some more work on the rooster coop, and it is just, it's, it's making me absolutely crazy. But there's progress. There we go. I got all the walls together and I'll show you inside what I did. I got this hung and <laughs> yeah, you can tell that that's backwards. Um, it should have been this way, but I had initially planned on having this turned over. So there would have been a nice wide piece of wood, which would have accommodated this, but I couldn't do it because this is not wide enough and I needed to put something at least heavy duty. I do have some other brackets, but they're too small. So I put them on backwards and they do work. Um, they work just fine. But the only thing is, is I'm concerned that, um, you know, the stress is going to be on the weaker part of the bracket. So all I do when I open it up is I just pull that underneath and I rest the door on it. Um, so I'll open it up and show you that in a minute. But um, here, let me get the tripod for this. Here is the door, and you can see there's some extra parts on it, uh, and I put them there for a specific reason. I actually need to replace these two underneath because they're they're kind of small. Um, but I didn't want a raccoon, and raccoons are pretty smart to be able to just push these little dowels down and be able to open the door and get in. So uh, it's a double locking thing. Um, this one you have to turn this way. For it to be able to come up like that and this one you have to turn in the opposite direction and it's actually kind of hard to turn Oops. there we go and this goes up like this <laughs> and then this comes open ta-da I just need to figure out a way to um, keep this up I think I'll do some kind of a chain or something so that I can hold it up uh, so the roosters can go in and out. And I put little stops here so the door just wouldn't swing. See, now it stops. It won't go any further. So I just need like a little hook and a little chain thingy that I can hold this up with. Um, so anyhow, yeah, it locks. It works just fine. There we go. This one turns this way. Okay, so anyhow, it locks. Just need to replace those. Um, that one goes down a little bit further. There we go. And it does open, swings right open. There we go. I just opened the door, rested on that. I actually think I'm gonna get a different log that's like wider and has a wider base and just keep it near here. I did line the inside of this and on the inside, um, I did put some brackets down. I couldn't do it from the outside just because it, it just, I couldn't do it. Uh, I put one over here, one down there. Um, look at that bracket. I didn't have just a straight bar, so I used that. And then there's another one there, another one there. And then they're all on the top as well. And I do think I'm going to leave that bungee up there. Oh, there's just a bolt going in to that one. And um, yeah, there's a bolt going, attaching those two as well. So, um, yeah, it's, it's all pretty stable. I mean, I can try and move it and it's pretty gosh darn stable. So all I have to do now is, well, I need to put the roof on and there's a few other things I need to do too. I need to put some chicken wire across this. I need to put a board across this and then I need a little, some kind of locking mechanism over here. Um... I think I'm gonna put that board right there. And doesn't this look pretty? It's got little moss and a board or boards to block that. I may use this board over here to kind of block those holes. And there's a little space right there. I can apply something from the inside to kind of just make that a little bit more closed in. I mean, I'm not that concerned about it. Um, Except for this one there's a bigger space there so 
I can do all that though. That's all the easy stuff. You know what I mean? And then put the roof on, which is over there. I just put that piece of plastic over it so I didn't keep um, <laughs> walking over it. And this thing right here, um, I am going to put chicken wire over the whole top of it and just make it a little bit better. Um, and then put it over the top and I think we'll be good. Yeah, I did harvest me a whole bunch of vegetables, mostly jalapeno peppers. I still have a ton of cayenne peppers um, and more smaller, smaller jalapeno peppers coming in. The, the green bell peppers aren't getting very big, so I'm just uh, picking them. Anyhow, hmm, I need to get to work today. Guess what? FedEx arrived and dropped off two packages. First one is another 40 pounds of chicken feed. My chickens love this so much better than the tractor supply stuff. And this did come from Sarah. She did send me the second bag of chicken scratch. She just ordered two bags of this stuff, two bags of the chicken scratch, and they just came at different times. So thank you very much, Miss Sarah. The next one is this big bolt of burlap, also off my Walmart wish list. Miss Sarah ordered this for me. She didn't tell me, but I got a text like the day before it was going to be delivered. And I clicked on the link in the text to find out that it's a bolt of burlap. I've got, um, I had three on my wish list. She's bought me the first one. This is going to go to a very special, specific purpose. All three of the bolts that are needed will go to the same thing, and it's a secret. I'm not going to tell you right now. I'm just going to show you when the project is done, but I am so very excited about this burlap. You guys have absolutely no idea, and I just love it. Thank you so much, Sarah, and look at Papa has found his favorite spot on my new rug. Isn't that pretty? Here's where the other one is, right in front of my chair. And then Papa, this is just his favorite place now. Look at that. You good boy. I'm just inside taking a little break and chilling out. And I got to tell you, these, these rugs have changed the atmosphere in this tiny house for me. It feels more homey. I love them. They're beautiful, vibrant colors, and they're small enough to where I can pick them up, take them outside, clean them, scrub them, beat them, you know, uh, get all the dust off them. And so it's going to be, they're, they're just wonderful. I love them. But uh, so, yeah, it's going to be raining off and on today. And, you know, that big storm is supposed to come in. I don't think it's going to hit Tennessee, though. Um, I may get some more stuff done on the rooster pen and maybe the next time you see me, I might have a completely finished rooster coop and it needs to come quick because one of the new, uh, roosters, uh, not of the baby chicks, but, and not Rocky, Rocky three, um, one of the two Easter egger roosters in the middle pen or the main pen, uh, crowed for the first time today. I don't know which one it was because I didn't see it. But yeah, so uh, I need to get this done and I will get it done very, very soon. I just need a couple more things for the yard. I need some zip ties. I need, um, I don't know, some netting to go over the top. Uh, but that can all be worked out. Anyhow, whew, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.